At the time that Hauptmann arrived at the Medical Foundation in 1970, his work was just beginning to be understood by chemists and crystallographers. But it wasn't until 1985, after almost four decades of research, that he was finally recognized for the groundbreaking work he'd spent the better part of his life on, the mathematical equation called direct methods. Uh, I'd like to show you particularly, um, this is the uh, one uh, Dr. Hoffman gave me, and uh, he said that this is what he did when he was doing the research in direct methods. These are all his handwriting, so I, make, I made a Xerox copy. This is a very variable manuscript. Uh, you can see how many uh, different formulas and mathematical equations and integrations and uh, a lot of things which are used in the derivation of original direct methods for X-ray crystallography. The most exciting day about the research is when you make the discovery and when you see that you've, what you've been thinking about is real and, and you suddenly are able to, all the, all the ideas you had come together and you say, oh yes, this works. This is the moment, uh, the eureka moment. And that comes long before the Nobel Prize. Herb knew the value of what he had done. He knew who he was and what he had done. The prize was just frosting on the cake. Dr. Hauptmann got his award uh, in the Nobel Prize in chemistry for his work on molecular structure shaping. It was his efforts for... Chemists and crystallographers now had a tool to effectively determine a molecule's three-dimensional shape. Today, Hauptmann's direct methods, combined with powerful new computing techniques, have removed the guesswork and reduced a job that once took months or years to hours and minutes. Thirty years ago, it's, it's rare to solve a structure with, say, more than 100 atoms. Okay, these days, um, with the modern technology, solving a protein structure, say, containing more than 1,000, 10,000 atoms is possible. Hauptmann had brought about a fundamental change in the understanding of the causes of disease. That, in turn, has allowed scientists to design new drugs that specifically target illnesses like cancer, HIV, and heart disease. As time will go by, people will look back and say, there was a period before the work that Hauptmann and Carl did, and a period after. And that period after will be characterized by much more rapid drug design, much more ambitious kinds of attacks on disease. And we'll be able to point back to this work, this seminal work, and say, this was a big, big change in the way that we could do business. And that's why they got the Nobel Prize, because you have to do something that's going to change the whole paradigm of science, and it has. <laughs> this is Nobel himself, and here we're at the, this is the queen, at the big banquet. Herbert Hauptmann, an exceedingly modest man, is first to receive his award. My wife kept thinking you know, that maybe this could happen. I tried to assure her that it was out of the question. And the reason that I thought it was out of the question is no mathematician had ever won the prize for the work that he did in mathematics. As it turned out, I was right, but she was even more right. Just watching my dad, I mean, it was, you know, what can you say? You couldn't be more proud. And I went up and I hugged my dad and that to me was that was important it was a special spot for me with my dad right then because at that point i felt my dad kind of became the world the world <laughs> 